Okay, hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about quadratic identities. Uh, and this is uh, quite an important lesson because uh, you really, there's not that many things that you actually need to memorize for the SAT math. Uh, as I may have mentioned before, the SAT math section, they're not really concerned with what you remember so much as how you can manipulate information. That's why they like to give you the formulas at the beginning of each math section because they're not really testing whether you remember the formulas, they're testing uh, you know, how you can uh, work your way through a problem uh, with certain pieces of information. Uh, however, there are certain things that you do need to have memorized for this test and, and one of those things is, are the uh, quadratic identities. Uh, so here's what I mean by that. Um, the quadratic identities are as follows. x plus y times x minus y equals x squared minus y squared. x plus y squared equals x squared plus 2xy plus y squared and then x minus y squared equals x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay, now I'm sure a lot of you are looking at this and saying, well, gosh, Brian, I don't, I don't see the need for me to memorize this because uh, all I'm doing to get from left to right is I'm foiling it out, right? Uh, F-O-I-L, as you learn in your math class, first, outer, inner, last. Well, that's true. Uh, you, you can get from the left to right pretty easily by multiplying it out. Uh, however, it's quite difficult to go from right to left. In, in other words, uh, you have to be quite, quite good at math to be able to understand that x squared minus y squared equals x plus y times x minus y unless you have it memorized. Uh, so it is, it is very important that you memorize these and that you also just keep an eye out for parts of them if they pop up in a problem because uh, if, if you do see parts of these equations popping up in a problem there's a really good chance that that's what they're trying to test. They're trying to test whether or not uh, you you know your quadratic identities. So what I'm going to do is give you a problem from the book that, that perfectly illustrates this. Um, so this is from the official guide to the SAT, as always, and it's number 12 on page 475. Um, and, and here's the question. It says, if x squared minus y squared equals 77, and x plus y equals 11, right, what is the value of x? Right, if x squared minus y squared equals 77 and x plus y equals 11, what is the value of x? Okay, well, like most SAT questions, uh, especially the math questions, there's always, uh, there's the, the hard way to do it, the math class way, and then there's the easier way to do it. Um, now, the, what I would call the math class way would be to solve for x and then substitute. You know, so you could say, for example, x equals 11 minus y. And then so instead of x here, you could rewrite this by saying uh, 11 minus y squared minus y squared equals 77. And then solve for y and then solve for x. It, it's too much work. You don't need to do it this way. If you know your quadratic identities going into the problem, then a light bulb should go off in your head and you should say, wait a minute, this looks familiar, right? x plus y, x squared minus y squared. Why does this look familiar? Well, let me write out my quadratic identities. Okay, x plus y. Oh, wait a minute, x plus y times x minus y, right? equals x squared minus y squared. So all of a sudden you can do some, some nice substituting here, can't you? Uh, you know that x plus y equals 11, right? So 11 times x minus y 
and then you can substitute for x squared minus y squared as well. So now all of a sudden, 11 times something equals 77, so x minus y equals 7. Okay, so now you're left with x minus y equals 7, so how are you going to solve for x? Right? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Now this just becomes a simultaneous equation. Uh, so what you can do when you have a simultaneous equation is you take this, we're going to take this equation and we're going to bring it down here. We put the x's above the x's, the y's above the y's. Right? Now we want to get rid of the y because we're solving for x. Right? So we can just add these two expressions. x plus x equals 2x. Y, negative y plus y is 0, so that cancels each other out. And then 7 plus 11 is 18. 2x equals 18. x equals 9. So there's our answer. Uh, so just remember, you really do have to memorize those quadratic identities. And if you see parts of them popping up in a problem, they are probably testing your knowledge of those identities.